What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about MJF potentially turning face, man. If you guys watched uh Dynamite tonight, man, MJF cut a brilliant promo and he had a brilliant promo segment with William Regal. This promo segment was about 15, 20 minutes. It was so entertaining. Easily one of the best promo segments I've seen all year. And MJF seems like to be that reoccurring, uh, uh, I guess, segment or part of the AEW Dynamite show that you just want to tune in and listen to what he has to say. And it, it was very intriguing what they're potentially teasing at. But before we get into this, we got to send our thoughts and prayers to... Um, Adam Page, if you guys were watching it with me uh, on the stream, he was in the max with John Moxley, and uh, it was just like a simple clothesline. John Moxley hit him with a clothesline, but apparently he may have hit the side of uh, of Adam Page's head. So when he, you know, sold the clothesline, he didn't get up. He didn't move. The referee went to check on him. He wasn't responsive. They called, you know, they threw up the X and they called the match off, and. I wasn't sure watching live was this a work was this was this really real but now that reports are coming out you know people that was there at the event um they had to loosen up the bottom ring the, the rope ring to get him out the ring they if you guys notice they didn't show him no more they didn't show him anymore they, they didn't sell an injury angle or nothing they literally cut to commentary Taz was, you can tell he was emotional. I'm not sure. At, at watching it live, I wasn't sure if they're they're really selling this up, but you could tell they were they were confused. They they were really trying to scramble for time. And that's when MJF came out there and confronted um John Moxley. So I'm wishing Adam uh Hangman Page uh uh a, a speedy recovery. Um I saw Big E tweeted a hey, you know get well uh Adam. So uh I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. My prayers and thoughts go with him. Hopefully it was a stinger, nothing too serious. But uh I didn't know at the time because I'm like, maybe is this a work? But no, this it was a legit injury. He was legit hurt, um, so I'm, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, Y'all send prayers and condolences to him, his family, and just AEW in a general in a general sense. So you, you never want to see someone get hurt like that. Um, but we got to talk about MJF's promo and what this could possibly mean. So they were teasing it last week that after the end of his match with Yuta, he was going to shake Yuta's hand potentially. You know, they, they've been teasing him maybe turning face and he was talking about in a backstage segment that I've you know I've had a pretty tough life y'all don't even know it you know I have to be the bad guy you know and it, it was kind of giving off of maybe he wants to do good but not sure and this promo alone my god bro he was so good he brought up a real situation with him and William Regal William Regal um, for those who don't know, MJF was trying to be in the WWE at one point, and William Regal was his way to get there. Obviously, he wasn't able to do it. He wasn't able to get in, and he had this rapport with William Regal, and he was like, you know, there was this part where he would like send him footage of his wrestling and his promos, and he would do it like, you know, every month, and then William Regal at one point just told him like, hey, bro, what makes you, you know what I'm saying, basically kind of like this ain't it. What you doing right now? What makes you think, you know, anybody would want to see you? Go make a name for yourself. Like, kind of shot him down. And it in MJF is really telling how this kind of crushed his dreams. But he used that. What William Regal's email sent, well, the email he sent to him, he used that as fire to fuel his passion to become the best in the business. And he's arguably one of the best in the business right now that whole segment was fantastic the crowd was eating it up and william regal's response was pretty much back in my day we just got our ass beat for motivation so you really kind of got off easy sunshine i love how william regal was calling him sunshine but i did what i needed to do i did that whatever i told you 
got you to where you are now but i'm still disappointed in you because you have to use others to get to where you need to be at why you can't do it yourself if you're gonna be the so-called devil then do 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 your dirty work yourself go to that extra mile go extra rogue if that's what you want to do and even william regal turned his back on go ahead go ahead be the devil that you say you are do what you have to do but he never did he got out the ring and then towards the end of the show he comes back out he looks like he's about to cash in the chip but he was like you know what well actually john moxley even calls him out like yo you've been talking all this trash come out here let's go Looked like he was about to cash in the chip, but he said, no. He said, you know, I'm not going to cash in the chip. And I'm thinking this is going to be him healing it up, as MJF does. But he was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until you're at 100%. I don't want no excuses. I don't want any reason to, for anyone to say, oh, he beat him at this percentage. I'm doing this. I'm cashing in my chip at full gear. That's when I'm going to take the title from you crowd went crazy he he was hyped up and of course john moxley was like yo bring your a game let's get it going and what's interesting about this whole situation we knew when mjf came back he was going to be beloved there was nothing he could do nobody was gonna boo him because he he is he people want to see him he is in my opinion one of the few things in wrestling that gives off like realism in a sense of like what we're seeing him portray on screen that's him to a t like bringing up these past situations that's molded his life i love it i, I make this comparison with roman what we see roman now is more or less him he's just extending that out on screen more or less how he his mannerisms his movements how he talks how he walks everything that about him that's what we see now on screen it comes off believable before when vince was shoving him down our throats it didn't work he came off as somebody that vince wanted but not the fans could like really buy into and the same thing with mjf people buy into mjf because of his microphone ability and he knows how to make people care he he understands the psychology of wrestling honestly bro I know I've been one of those people that says, no, MJF needs to be a heel and his heel work is fantastic. But the way they're planning seeds and the way things are going, I'm going to be honest with you. I think he may end up turning face here because what he literally just said, I'm going to cash this in and I want you at 110 percent. What baby, what heel do you do? You know, does that? Anytime there's any cash-in situation, usually the heel waits for the opportune moment for when you're weak to cash in. It only makes sense. So he's waiting for John Moxley to be at 110%. And honestly, heel or face, he's gonna get cheered regardless. And I, I I'm all I'm okay with it. I think he would be one of those baby faces that don't come off as cringe but gives you a dose of reality. It doesn't have a problem, you know, like pushing buttons. Like I'm okay with the bad guy that's like the bad guy, but he's he's likable. For example, Stone Cold. Stone Cold's not a goody two-shoes character. Stone Cold was a, I don't give a damn who you are. I'm going to kick your ass and I'm going to win the championship and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm anti-authority. That's what Stone Cold was. He started off a heel and then people just, they they just loved him. They started to love him ever since, you know, his, his King of the Ring promo when he won it and then his match with Bret Hart and him not tapping out, showing Hart, not giving up. That's the same thing I see with MJF in that same regard of somebody that doesn't give a damn about authority, that's going to bet on himself. He's all about making sure he wins. He's all about making sure that he gets the job done and he'll go through anybody to make sure it happens. The only thing is, how do you do it and how you go about it? And I, I don't know. Honestly, I think them turning him face, I don't have a problem with it. Cause he's just gonna he's gonna be just as over i don't have a problem with it i think i think it could work and he's hilarious he can bring up the jokes he can he, he, when it comes to the back and forth and roasting people he can be an asshole and still be a face 
You know what I'm saying? What makes you more of a heel is how you win your matches. Do you cheat behind the ref to get the get the job done? Do you have people jump in on your behalf? You know? So either way, this entire promo segment, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. MJF and uh William Regal. That whole segment was truly fantastic. Some of the best promo work we've seen all year, especially in AEW. And it, it was great. It had a lot of realism, a lot of truth to it. You can tell it was it was it was great. Fantastic. And we may we may see MJF as a babyface in this whole situation. He may be a babyface going into full gear. Honestly, people are gonna want him to win. So it didn't really matter if he was a heel or not. People want him to win. And there's no way to ignore the cheers. He got huge pops tonight. There's nothing you can do about it. He's that fucking over, bro. He's that over. So, um, and the only thing I can say is Tony Khan, bro, when it comes to full gear, John Moxley got to drop the title. If John Moxley does not drop the title, y'all have dropped the ball. MJF must win at full gear. There's no other conclusion other than MJF being the new AEW world champion. If he is not the world champion, when they face each other, when it's all said and done, they have dropped the ball completely. This is not a situation you need to pull an audible. Have him win it because it's his time. It's his time, bro. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys prefer MJF as a heel or are you guys okay with him potentially being a baby face? going forward let me know down below let's have a discussion man also once again prayers to adam page and wishing him a speedy recovery and i hope everything's okay man uh i'm gonna be checking on twitter and seeing you know if there's any updates uh so yeah prayers out to adam page man comment down below let me know if mjf should remain a heel or turn face let me know down below or it does it not matter you just want mjf as the world champion but i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace